Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today it's kind of a bittersweet video and it's an end of an era and I will let you know why in just a moment. I'm very excited because we have got a very heavy, chunky, magical subscription box by Lipjoy and I'm very excited because seriously, it is humongous and I'll take a closer look at the box in just a mere moment. Firstly, I would like to say a massive thank you to LitJoy because this video is actually sponsored by them. Make sure you check the links in the description down below because they have got so many wonderful things on their online shop. Like it is a treasure trove. Now, you may be wondering, well, why is this bit of sweet, this video, Cherry, in the end of an era? Well, this is actually the final ever magical subscription by LitJoy. Now you may be thinking, oh my God, what is going on? I know it's a sad time. We've been unboxing these for years on this channel and it's been an absolute joy to unbox the magic time and time again. But this is not the end of LitJoy. Oh no, they are sticking around. They're still making some incredible things. They've got a really beautiful online store, which I encourage you to check out because it is full of some really beautiful, and unique things. So check out the LitJoy shop down below. They've also got their To Be Read box, which is a bookish subscription. It's really, really good. I've actually unboxed that once on my TikTok. And they've even got a podcast, but I know that they are going to be making really wonderful, magical, whimsical things for us for years to come. So yes, make sure you check out all the links in the description because LitJoy ain't going anywhere. But today... It's a sad one because this is the final one. So here it is, the Take Me Home box. If you want to know what is inside here, we're unboxing it today. So make sure you stick around. And hey, if you are brand new here, firstly, hello, welcome. Don't forget that you can click the subscribe button to become a part of our weird magical online family. But let's go because <sighs> the final Lit Joy box. Okay then, here we have it. The magical subscription by LitJoy and this is the Take Me Home crate. So it's an end of an era, oh my god. <laughs> Firstly, let's take a look at the beautiful box artwork. One thing about LitJoy is they do not cut corners when it comes to presentation. This box, even though it's the final one, is still high up there, it's not let us down. We have got a beautiful, I think that might be a barn owl. I was gonna say it's a snowy owl, but I'm pretty sure that's a barn owl. I can see the kind of dish face and then when you actually open this I don't want to have a look inside just yet but this kind of extends down we've got Hogwarts castle and down here I think these are called puff skins puff skins <laughs> but they're like little cat faced round balls of fluff which is quite cute and then on the other sides of this crate we have got there is a snowy owl and we've got I think that's meant to be Harry and then we've got Molly oh and her charmed enchantment knitting needles knitting away I feel like that's cheating a little bit it's not really knitted by Molly if her knitting needles are doing all the work without her I'm just saying um, and then we've got a beautiful snowy hogsmeade I think that is and on the back the final piece of artwork we have got some Hogwarts trunks some magical suitcases there we have it okay let's get on with it I know you're all waiting to find out what's inside so here we go Ooh. <laughs> okay um let me give you a little bit more of a sneak peek oh my god there is there is a lot in here there is a lot of uh magical keys as well good lord this is very very full i do believe they have also sent me all of the add-ons so i will leave a list in the description what is an add-on in fact we'll probably see it at the end of the video so first things first i guess we should start with this very soft plushy vacuum packed <laughs> i don't even know what it is i'm guessing it's going to be a blanket i have no idea what the design is going to be of but let's take a look oh my god look at it is a blanket and it's so soft i've actually got some of their blankets that they've come out with before they do really lovely blankets so here we have it we've got some kind of uh, they're kind of like patchwork owls so you're seeing that we've got a p here we've got a moon and start let's open this out i'm guessing this is <laughs> oh wow it's a patchwork quilt of <sighs> this is too big i don't think i'm gonna be able to show you everything okay so this looks like a really 
lovely patchwork blanket that we could imagine Molly has lovingly knitted. We've got pygmy puffs over here with an F. Extendable ears as well. We've got a G, which I'm guessing is George, with some fireworks. We've got the Weasley clock. We've got the burrow. Oh, this is so cute. Ginny over here with a broom. Um, the Order of the Phoenix. We've got Prefect for Percy. We've got a Quidditch cup. Oh my God, there's so much. I think this one's for Ron because there's scabbers and a chess piece and the Chudley Cannons. H for Harry with the lightning. We've got Brave at Heart, Gryffindor. Hermione over here with Crookshanks. Like this reminds me of one of those patchwork blankets that people make when they have like t-shirts, like torty shirts there's just so much to look at we've got a for arthur m for molly we've got charlie we've got egypt as well i mean it's just one big memory blanket isn't it like a magical memory blanket and i gotta say guys this is not small like this is a decent sized blanket these are perfect for keeping you all snuggly this is beautiful it's so colorful as well i just think it's got that homey vibe because it's meant to look like it's a patchwork quilt i love that what a great start to the box let's move on to the next item okay next we have got a very mysterious white carton but oh my god when you open this it's this beautiful sort of metallic blue it feels kind of heavy as well i cannot guess what is inside here so let's take a little oh my god this is glass right firstly let's take out the glass <gasps> this is one of their light up ones there we have it the light is on can you see that oh it's gone blue and then it's <gasps> it's color changing so that's the base let me just pop that to one side let's take a look at what this is then oh wow it's gonna be so hard to show you guys but let's have a look so at the bottom it says ones up and it does actually have three hands holding some wands and then there's a flying phoenix above there so that's cute it's almost like a little nod to Dumbledore but let's take a look at this in I mean that's so cool okay so here we have it <laughs> you can just about see the design and the colors changing it's very hard to film but in person it's absolutely beautiful and it's 3d as well like that's so pretty what a really wonderful and beautiful memento to have in a final box from lip joy i'm a bit of a sucker for the kind of spheres like the crystal balls that have things etched inside very very pretty okay wasn't expecting that next up we've got another mystery carton this time it's just brown oh this is very cute it's a christmas cracker giving this one a little shake it does sound like there is a gift in here they do actually have the cracker mechanism in there too and for the sake of the video even though it's a very beautiful cracker i am going to pull it so if you don't like potential bangs turn away now right i'm so weak oh <laughs> let's open it oh they've actually got a little hat Okay, first things first. <laughs> Here it is. There is a little paper crown. There we have it. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you all have a very festive one with your family. Is there a joke? Oh, there's a stick. Oh, okay, right. There's multiple things in here. Okay, so the joke in here says, what do you call the entrance to a magical gym? A dumbbell door. Also inside was this tiny little Christmas tree, which I believe is to be the Weezy's because as you can see, there is a tiny little gnome on top. I tell you what, the little gnomes look so funny, but what a lovely tree with all the ribbon around. So that's a lovely sticker. And also inside, I can see a keyring. Here it is. So on the back of this keyring, it has the Litjoy Magical Collection engraved. Um, and then here we have got Ronald Weasley's Christmas sweater. That's a really nice keyring, you know. It feels really luxe. It's a nice metal one. It doesn't dangle too far. Like that's cute. I like that. I don't usually, I'm not usually the biggest fangirl of keyrings, but that one's quite nice. What a cute 
little thing to get in the final box. It is Christmas time after all. Now I'm just going to take my little festive hat off. We'll come back to that later. Let's see what else is inside of this box. Right, we've got one, two, three, four magical keys. So I'm going to put those to one side. We're going to open those together last because I want to know what's inside here. Okay, so it does give it away on here. It's a Ground Keepers Hut mug. And I've got to say, the mugs from Lit Joy have been some of my favourite over the years. I've got high hopes for this mug. I hope it's in the same style because then the, they all match the collection. Is it? Is it? No! <gasps> this is even better than I imagined. Wait. Wait. Wait, what? Hang on, hang on a minute, hang on. This is a two-parter. Litjoy, what are you doing to me? Let's open this one. So this is the first part. Oh, wow. This is the roof of the Ground Keeper's Hut. As you can see, it's even got a little spire on there. This is made out of ceramic. Let's move on because this is part two. This also says Ground Keeper's Hut mug on it. So this is gonna be the actual mug part, I'm guessing. Here it is, wow. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, it's got little pumpkins. We've got a little stained glass window. We've got his window that's open with some little dragons in there. Can you see a little kettle? We've also got, oh my God, look. Hagrid's little popper, little fang having a nap by the window. We've got some crates, some more pumpkins. We've even got the groundkeeper's wand. We've got that classic pink umbrella. Now, this isn't just any old mug. As you've seen, there's a roof. <laughs> Oh my god that is just darling i mean that's so creative that's so cute i was not expecting that i was assuming it was going to be similar to the mug collections that they've come out with in the past but this has exceeded expectations this is on a whole different level of mug from lit joy so there we have it what do you guys think of this cute little ground keepers hut mug i mean i'm absolutely obsessed with it okay i'm gonna put that down because it's exciting me a little bit too much okay next up oh my god this is cute we have got what looks to be one of their metal bookmarks and it's so pretty it even says on there take me home we've got hogwarts we've got a little moon we've got a little owl at the bottom which is like this hanging chain i don't want to take this out of the packet because i know that i won't get it back in but that is so pretty next up we have got a piece of artwork and oh this hits me in the feels but here we have it this is a soft touch now not only have they given us this piece of artwork they have also included a jigsaw of the same artwork which i think is really lovely because you can work off the piece of artwork that they've given to us whilst you're making the puzzle it's a 300 piece puzzle but this does bring us to these keys which has been one of the nicest key collections to have ever existed i don't know which one to start with i'm just you know what i'm gonna start from the top and we'll work our way down shall we key number one so this is the lit joy magical key collection which i've definitely been enjoying over the last year or two wow this is like a ministry kit we're gonna have to take it out piece by piece let i want to know what this is it says speak clearly ministry issued powder so this is like flu powder it does feel like there's something in there but i don't think that it's meant to be opened but yes this is the little pouch it's kind of like this faux suede it feels really nice it's also got a clasp on there there is part of me that kind of wants to open it after a little bit of investigating this doesn't open but it does feel like there is some sort of powder or something in there but oh my god that metallic you guys know how i feel about shiny things okay the next piece in here this is very cool this is a hard enamel piece and i think Think. oh my god yes look in the top there they've given a little slot to put your own image in here that's cool that you can put your own picture in there on the back it looks beautiful nice i mean these are just quality aren't they lit joy magical key collection and then the part we've all been waiting for is the key itself and here it is 
This is the key to the ministry. It even says on the spine of it, the ministry. We've got the locking mechanism with what looks to be some sort of serpent or basilisk. Very pretty. We've also got the interdepartmental memos. That's always fun to say. Okay, I see you, Lit Joy. I've got three more of these to open out and I don't know if one can beat that because that one's so nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is this for Malfoy Manor by any chance? But let's take a look at some of these. So this is a Death Eater mask, which looks a little bit like Lucius's. And then on the back, it says Magical Key Collection. I mean, so pretty. We've also, oh my God, is this his pimp cane? <laughs> I think it might be. We've got a serpent. Let me just move this out of the way. We've got a serpent and a wand, which, I mean, the design of that, that is stunning. It's like a curly whirly serpent. <laughs> a curly whirly serpent and then the wand will fit down there so that looks like lucius's i've always called it his pimp cane if i'm honest but yeah how cool is that 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 just comes out i think that's really cool that's probably one of the most intricate things that they have designed for their key collection and last but certainly not least the key to the manor oh my god this is so chunky this might be the heaviest one to date Okay, so first things first, can we just talk about these like jewels in there, like Slytherin green jewels? So we've got a big M at the top. We've got a peacock, which goes down there too. We've got an M on the mechanism. We've also got like this pointed, almost looks like an arrow. Every single one of their keys blows me away. They're so pretty. Moving on to the third key. Oh my God, they these are just the keys that keep on giving. Uh, let's take a look. It's the robe shop in Diagon Alley. Firstly, I need to look at this key first because it is the shape of a mannequin. That's beautiful. We've also got some needle and threads here. And then the base of the mannequin is the actual key mechanism. That's just so cool. Then we have, whoa, we've got our own sewing collection. Oh my God. It says emergency robe repair kit. This is hard enamel. It's on a hinge with a magnet like the, oh my God, the quality, the quality. Okay. Tired of mending your own robes? Ask about our self-repairing and self-ironing robes today. That is so pretty. And then inside we've got threads, we've got buttons, we've got thimble, little safety pins, needles, a threader, some little pins. We've also got some embroidery scissors. That's just so nice. And then not only that, we have the actual shop sign, which is here, and it has the scissors on the top. It says fine robes for every occasion. School robes, formal wear, dress robes, and winter cloaks absolutely beautiful like they i can't i'm not even joking these blow me away to the point makes me a little bit breathless because <laughs> i'm just like <gasps> okay the last one. Oh my god what could this be okay we might have opened my favorite last okay oh my god are you seeing that little teacup we have to look at this <laughs> we have to look at this first Oh my God, it's even got like a grim in the bottom. It has the grim in there. My dear. Oh, it's a little divination teacup. I cannot, I cannot. And then we've got this divination charm. It's like a snow globe. It has water in there, but this is like a divination crystal ball. We've got runes around the edge and it says broaden your mind and look beyond. On the back it says lit joy at magical key collection. I mean, oh my God. And the best bit is the key on this one. If I had a key and it was designed for my personality, it would be this. <laughs> We've got sparkles, we've got moons, we've got teacups. I don't know what that gem is. And then we've got a tarot card in a hand at the top. Oh my God, look, there's even a little gem in the ring on there. Like the detail is bananas. I think that might be a mood changing thing, you know, because that's just gone all blue when it was really quite red before. Either way, that one, 10 out of 10 for me. I just love this. Do you guys have any of the Lit Joy keys? Let me know. I'm wondering if they have any of these left on their store because they're so nice and it's just, I know I talk about it all the time, but the attention to detail is spot on. Okay. 
I think, is that everything? I think we've gone through everything. Let's have a look at the final cheat sheet of the Lipjoy Magical Editions. First things first, it, we have got the Great Hall doors and the cheat sheet does actually open up into the Great Hall. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay then, so we had the Castle Metal bookmark, which was this, and it says returning home is as easy as opening a book. It was between the pages of a book and the halls of a magical castle that we found friendship, courage, bravery, adventure, magic, whimsy, and the feeling of home. These feelings have united us as a community far beyond the pages of the castle. Let this beloved castle bookmark be your reminder that returning home is as easy as opening a book. That's so wholesome. Then we had the divination key. It says, Unlock the mystical realms with our enchanting divination key. Crafted from sturdy metal, this key boasts a captivating colour-changing moonstone. It does! <laughs> That's so cool. Reflecting your innermost thoughts and desires. The key design features a hand with a mini rhinestone ring holding a card while a crescent moon and stars grace the key bit. The key comes complete with two charms, a miniature teacup harbouring the dreaded grim at the bottom and a clever crystal ball filled with mesmerising moving glitter and that is designed by my very good friend Amelia. She is fantastic. I will leave her link down below to her Instagram. Uh, she is so, so talented. Next up we had the Ground Keepers mug. We couldn't say goodbye without a warm hug from our favourite groundskeeper. Let the groundskeeper mug remind you of hot tea by the hearth and magical creatures in unexpected places. As you sip from the mug, remember the kind-hearted caretaker and his hut filled with both cosiness and chaos that will endear him to our hearts forever. And this was done by Raven Pages Design, same as the bookmark too. This was the Christmas cracker. Creating memories is as important to Litjoy as it is to our wizard friends. And there's no better way to do it than a nod to the most festive and magical celebration at Wizard school. With snowy grounds and fairy lit Christmas trees, warm blazing fires and delicious feasts, you get to make your holiday pop with magic by pulling this Christmas cracker with a friend or family member and sharing a memorable treat inside. And that was designed for them by Seaside Spirit, who is also the designer of the Lit Joy box artwork. We also had the magical patchwork blanket. It says, whilst we're all a little emotional as we say our final goodbyes to the magical crate, Lit Joy wants us to find comfort in the warmth and nostalgia of this magical magical patchwork blanket. Wrap yourself in love and memories of your favourite wizards and witches with this cosy blanket that feels handmade with love by our favourite red-haired mum and remember all of your favourite moments. And that was designed by David, I'm not going to try to pronounce, David Eor to illustration. I've probably butchered that name, but nice design work. We then had the theme art print and it says, artist Seaside Spirit really knows how to take us home in this gorgeous illustration featuring three of our favorite wizards and friends. Next up is the theme art print. Artist Seaside Spirit really knows how to take us home in this gorgeous illustration featuring three of our favorite wizards and friends holding each other as they look back at their home away from home for all these years. We at Litjoy imagine we're standing with them and you holding each other as we give tribute and say goodbye to the Litjoy Magical subscription and hello to what adventures will sweep us away in the future. The Crystal Ball. This is the ones up Crystal Ball and it says as Litjoy says goodbye to the magical crate we feel a kindred spirit with our magical friends who raise their wands in memory of their beloved headmaster. Join us in lighting this beautiful ones up Crystal Ball in memory of him and other beloved characters who lost their lives along the way and in memory of all of the magical crates that came before and brought us here to this moment. One's up. And that was designed by Corella Frat Art. Then we had the magical robe shop key and it says step into a shop where threads weave dreams and magic reign supreme with our extraordinary magical robe shop key shaped like a graceful dress form intertwined with spools of thread this key unlocks not only a store but a world of limitless possibilities the key which can stand on its own comes equipped with two enchanting charms a store sign with an adorable scissors 
hanger and a sewing kit that unfolds to reveal all the tools for magical alterations again designed by amelia b83 oh my god okay so this brings us on to the little note on the back of the cheat sheet from lit joy themselves and let's take a little read so it says lit joy launched the magical subscription because we deeply desired to create something solid and tangible from a fictional world that we fell in love with the magical subscription was the first place that stretched our creativity outside of what everyone was doing and really let our originality cleverness and cheekiness shine this reading community has always been about sharing our passion for books and the emotions and lessons that we've learned from them. Reading is a solitary and enchanting experience and creating these crates was a way to unite us in our shared experiences. It was magical in itself to create items and have our customers understand exactly what those items meant and represented. Watching our customers open magical crates and seeing them laugh and cry over the same products that we laughed and cried over whilst creating has been incredible and unifying. At LitJoy, we will never say goodbye to all things magical, but the time has come to step away from the magical subscription. This last crate, Take Me Home, is our love letter to the magic of a well-loved series, characters and experiences. We're celebrating moments full of laughter, the shared grief at losing favourite characters and the longing for the place that feels like home. We hope as you open each item, you will feel the love we have for our home away from home. On to the next adventure, Alex, Kelly, and the LitJoy team. This is an overview of everything that I received in the Take Me Home final LitJoy magical subscription box. Just to note that the keys over here, I believe, were the add-ons. And oh my goodness, I mean, that mug is gonna go somewhere special as is this little ones up thing the keys stunning this i'm gonna read harry potter again i've just finished the films i've got a blanket i can i can snuggle up with my memory blanket of all the magical memories and just enjoy it all again <laughs> It feels really weird that this is the final box. Like, I've been unboxing Lit Joy for years. I've lost count how many, but it's been an absolute joy to unbox them with you guys. So, Lit Joy, if you are watching, thank you so much for all of the magic over the years. I know that you're going to continue to create and spread magic in all sorts of different weird and wonderful ways, and I cannot wait to see what you guys get up to. As I said, at the beginning of the video guys make sure to check out the links in the description to check out what lit joy are up to make sure you follow them on instagram and check out their lit joy shop but yeah this is it thank you for every single one of you that have watched the lit joy unboxings on this channel over the years but don't worry there will be plenty more magic on this channel in other forms but yeah oh so so nice um yeah it's kind of sad <laughs> right i will see you guys in my next video i cannot wait to read some of your comments down below but it really would be nice to share some comments to lit joy i'm sure they will read the comments from you guys and will feel really loved from our community um so yeah make sure you drop a comment if you have anything to say to the lit joy team okay on that note i'm gonna go i'm definitely gonna go and put some of these in some special places especially this little hagrid's hut mug like absolutely charming it just charmed the socks off me right thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next one bye